So we are now live. So hello everybody. How's everyone? Um, thank you very much for um, tuning in today. Um, my name is Eric Downey and I'm here to show you a little bit, a few fossils and minerals that I've collected. And I just wanted to say a massive thank you all for you to be online. And it's been very, very uh, grateful for everybody to, to be online. And I've got some help today. And we have um, Sam. Can you say hello, Sam? Hi. Hi, Sam. Hi. And we've got James and Alice. Can you say hello? Hi. Hello. And we've got Harry and James as well. So can you say hello, Harry and James? Hello. Hi. Thank you very much. And um, I don't know if you can remember, but last episode, um, my stylistic director, Harry, told me that I didn't look like a geologist. So I'm very sorry Well, about that. So this time I have made amends and I've dressed up a little bit like a, a, a proper geologist. OK, um, hopefully some of you have dressed up. But um, so anyway, we will uh, get on now, guys. I need your help. Um, what do you think is happening on Sunday? Easter. Easter. So what happens on Easter? Easter eggs. Easter eggs, right. Well, we're having an extravaganza today, an Easter extravaganza today. And the reason is they're going to be slightly different. They're not going to be chocolate uh, Easter eggs. They're going to be geological Easter eggs. So... I have got a number of geological Easter eggs that I'm going to be showing people and hopefully some of you got some as well and we're going to do a bit of a show and tell. And this is um, one that I'm going to show and I, we've got, I've got different sizes. This is called malachite and it's a beautiful um, greeny color here and it's, it's all to do with copper. And um, so this one, and I've got a smaller one too, and yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. And you can actually put some acid on them and then they can fizz just to prove that they've got some carbonate in there. So you can actually, uh, they're very, very soft. But I'm going to sort of run through a couple of them. But this is one. And I know some of you guys have got them out there. So I will show you um, the next one it is an egg called verdite. So, um, Sam, I think you've got an, uh, a verdite egg as well. And this is all the way from South Africa. And it's a very, very old um, stone. It's about three and a half million years old. OK, so it's really, really old. And um, so we have um, it's actually used in. Um, in sort of very African uh, medicine or sort of witch doctor medicine. And they used to grind it down and make magic powders out of this. So this is a great stone, but this is what it looks like when it's nicely polished and it's got a rhino on here and it's got a bison on this one. But um, this is what it looks like in its natural state. And I actually uh, quite like it in its natural state. It's also found very close to where gold is found in South Africa as well, in Africa. So this is a very, very famous thing. And what I forgot to say that my grandmother and Sam's great grandmother actually got us uh, interested in eggs and I've carried on um, collecting them. Yeah, so Sam's gonna show me some of his eggs and also Harry's got some eggs as well. So what egg have you got uh, that you wanna show me, uh, Sam? Oh, I've got um, a rose quartz. Rose quartz one. Well, look, a snap. So I've got a rose quartz one as well. So this is a great one. And um, this is a min this is like a what's called a semi-precious stone. And it's beautiful. It's got a lovely um, rose um, sort of color to it. And it's it's made of quartz. And some um, you can make um, jewelry out of it. And it is absolutely beautiful. And I'm now going to show Harry. You've got one as well, haven't you? What one have you got? Um, I've got my one with loads of different types of fossils in. Right. Is that like this one here? Is that like the fossil um, uh, yep. fossil egg one? Yes. That's mm -hmm. that's a limestone, and it's a what's known as a crinoidal limestone. And this was living in the sea as a coral reef. 
and then it died and then got covered up with sediments on top and then they all died and as you can see there are some beautiful little um, crinoidal bits in there and lots of other little sea animals in there as well and because I'm a bit of a, an expert okay that's my one joke of the day um, this is actually a teacup, uh, an egg cup. So I've got one that you might want to show us. Uh, yeah, I've got an egg of verdite. A verdite, but we've shown the verdite one, haven't we? Yes, so that's really. the verdite one, but you've got another special one, haven't you? Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye, well, that was well rehearsed, wasn't it? Because I've also got a tiger's eye one. And I love tiger's eye because it's really special. And that one, I think, uh, I think, um, yeah, it was either from my collection or from Granny's collection, I can't remember which. Hey. Yeah, from my collection. <laughs> but also, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a tiger's eye ring as well because I absolutely love tiger's eye. So that is absolutely gorgeous. And and you've got a, a nice stone as well. And this is another one that's like tiger's eye, but it's called hawk's eye. I don't know if you can see. What colour do you think that is? Red. Red, yeah. So it's it's just a bit um, different from the, the brown, and this one is a, a lovely, beautiful red one. I think this one came from my gran as well, so um, that was very nice. Um, right, I think, um, Harry, you've got another one, haven't you, that you want to show me? <laughs> oh, okay, James is going to show me this one. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, show, show me the camera. Yeah, show it to the camera. I think that is an... Um, an onyx one, and I've got something similar to that. It's not quite the same, but for anyone else, they can see this. This is onyx. I'm not quite sure what that one is, but this is an onyx one as well. So I quite like that. All of the different lines that you can see in that. So that's that's quite gorgeous. So yeah, um, I think that uh, I've got a couple more that I just want to show you, and this one is called lapis lazuli. So this is um, from a mineral that was mined in um, Af Af Afghanistan, and it was also used in Egyptian time. And we, um, it, it was very, very precious. And the Egyptians used to use it to um, put on their, in their tombs, in their casks. And also it was, the, the pigment was ground down to make paint. Mm -hmm. So, um, this was a lovely um, color and it was so valuable that they it was almost as valuable as gold. So this this is a really um, special um, mineral and I love it. So um, yeah, so that's lapis. So that's quite a nice uh, mineral as well. And I have one more Easter egg I think I'm gonna show you or geological Easter egg, which I think some of you may have seen before, but this is iron pyrites. So I love this because it, you can see that it's got its little um, square crystals and it's made into an egg. So it looks like gold, but it's not really gold, is it? Because what's it called? Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Thank you, James. Yeah, that's great. Yes, well done for remembering. But yes, that's wonderful. So that is uh, the iron pyrite. So I think we've just about done all of the eggs. So I'll take those out of the way. And now I'm going to just move on to some fossils now. So remember last time we had a, a nice big ammonite. Well, this one is just to the north of the last one. That, the last one I showed you was from Swindon. This is just north of Swindon near Sirencester. And this is from the Oxford clay. And this one is 160 million years old so it's it's really really old and i don't know if you can see but you've got lovely little horns on here again it, it um lived in the sea um in sort of tropical um sort of conditions rather like the sort of caribbean as, as it is today and we the the tentacles used to come out of the front and used to float up and down in the water like the the ammonites and the nautiluses but that's that is a lovely one uh, as well. So I, um, I, that's a really special one for me. So I'll pop that one down there. Uh, I'm now gonna move on to land. And I don't know whether anybody, what do you think that looks like? What do you think that looks like? Does it look like a bit like wood? Yeah. 
So I think it looks a bit like wood to me. And if you look very, very it, closely, it, sorry? Is it look like wood? Yes, it is. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, that's brilliant. So well done. So this is fossilized wood. And if you look very, very closely, you can actually see the rings um, of each year that it grew. But this is about 20 million years old. So this is really old. Not obviously as old as some of the other fossils I've shown you, but it's still blooming old. And it looks like you can almost see the tree bark on there as well. So I like that one. Uh, and that's all lovely and polished on the front there. So that's nice. And um, what we're going to show you now is we're now going to go to a, a volcanic rock now. So um, what James asked last time, he mentioned this. I don't know if you remember what you called it, James. Obsidian. Obsidian. Very good. Well done, James. So this is comes from a volcano. And the reason is it's very it's like glass is it's come out of a volcano really, really fast. And then it's been super cooled by either water or um, air. And it's not been able to form any crystals. So it is, it's just like glass and it's super sharp. And this has been used uh, um, by in the last million years by lots and lots of people of that's a stone age men and they used to make arrowheads out of here or they would make tools to skin the animals and take the skins off them and, and use them to keep them warm because it, um, in this in the ice age it was very very cold and they used to use this um, and it is very very sharp so um, and it wouldn't blunt very easily. So that is a wonderful thing. So that was from a volcano and they used to trade this. Um, and we've seen um, evidence that Stone Age man used to use this about one and a half million years ago. So it's a, it's a great um, piece of, uh, <coughs> of, of, um, of, of artifact that. Right, one more thing from the sea, uh, from volcano, sorry. Um, this is something called pumice. I don't know if you've ever come across pumice before. Sam, was that a nod? Uh, yes, also. Yeah. So this is also from a volcano. And do you think it's it's quite light? Yeah, uh, yeah it's quite light. Yeah, because it's got little air bubbles in there. And I'm going to do a little bit of a test. Do you think it might float in water? Yes. Yeah. You think it would float in water? Who thinks it's going to float in water? No. Yeah. We've got some yeses and some noes. Well, it just so happens I've got a bowl of water here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the water. And do you think it's going to float or are you going to think it's going to sink? Right, right. Float. Okay, let's put it in the water. Oh, look, it floats. So this has come out from a volcano and it's superheated. Uh, um, out and then it's cooled very very fast and it's got lots of little air bubbles in there and it's got so many air bubbles in it that it can float in water so look i'll try and push it down and all it wants to do is pop up so yeah there's not many rocks that are around that can actually float in water so there we go that's one rock that actually floats in water so now that we've been touched on a little bit of the water i'm now going to show you another sea creature and I don't know if anyone can see that that is actually like a sea urchin it's called a sand dollar and you've got those lovely five petals and that's where the the animal would breathe through these little um little um breathing holes in there but they're all five um they're all beautifully symmetrical and the animal was full of bristles and it used to roam around on the seabed eating um, all the food and then eating it up from the underside there. So that's a, a sand dollar. And <clears throat> some people would say that these were actually used by mermaids um, to pay for things under the sea. Do you think that's true? No, I think that's a bit false. That's a bit silly. But that's what I found out anyway. So there we go. That's a sand dollar. And... We're staying under the sea, a bit like this is a coral. This is a fossil coral called Rugos. And this is quite a small one. But what we had was um, 
you've got some of these that used to grow up to about a meter tall. And these ones um, were actually 485 million years old. And the animal used to live inside here and had tentacles up here and used to sting the, like a sea anemone, used to sting the, the prey. And then the prey would um, sort of die and then get eaten by these um, little bits of coral. And then, but these used to live for about 40 million years. So that's a long, long time, but at 485 million years ago. So a very, very long time. So that is that. And um, we're just now going to change direction. We're going to come out of the sea on and onto land. And I've just got another beautiful uh, fossil here. Well, not fossil. This is a mineral. And this is called a geode. Can you see this beautiful um, bit in here? This is um, a lovely sort of agate geode. And it's got beautiful um, minerals in there. Um, that's basically quartz. And you've got all of this nice um, change of color on here. So that's good. Um, I've got uh, one more thing. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, this one, this is from Cornwall, this one. And this is called Galena. So I know that, Harry, you live a bit close to Cornwall, don't you? Mm -hmm. So um, this is lead ore. And this was mined, and in ancient Egypt times, because they didn't have sunglasses, they used to grind this down and then used to put it underneath their eyes to, let, to stop the glare from being in their eyes. So that was used a long time ago. It's unfortunately quite um, poisonous, so you don't really want to be doing that now. Um, but this is lead ore, so, and it's very, very heavy, actually. So, yeah, that's quite a nice... Uh, um, mineral and i've got literally almost onto the last one now and thanks to my friend um johnny morris he um has told me that this fossil is a it's a dinosaur bone but it actually came from a fish and it's been a bit eroded um by the sea but this was one of the um spines or the, the spine of the so it could be an ichthyosaur or something, maybe a big fish like that. So um, that is a nice um, bone as well. So hopefully that's been uh, a bit of fun. And um, I just want people, you know, once in the near future, hopefully we can all go to museums and you can follow up um, on your um, hobby and go and see fossils in the museums and maybe go out to the beach and go fossil hunting on the beach and find some things on there. So um, hopefully that's been of fun and games and we'll see you soon. And uh, thanks very much for listening. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.